Here we are in week four, so happy Monday. I hope you have had a weekend. This is kind of a part two of accessing and organizing the internet. And this week you're going to dive into um, RSS and RSS aggregators. I don't know if you all have ever used any form of this. If you all are Google Reader users, you're probably aware that Google Reader will no longer exist as of July 1st. And I've really, really been in denial about that because Google Reader is one of the tools I use every day. But there is there are many alternatives and we're going to just, I just picked one called Feedly and we're going to explore that tool in this class as we're going to use it as our our RSS feed aggregator. So you'll be learning about that this week and you're going to explore some more capabilities of Digo. And we're not going to dive too deeply into wikis. Next week we'll be doing that. But we have to get ourselves set up with a Wikispaces account and you're actually going to begin contributing to the course wiki this, this week. I think I said a couple of weeks ago that the beginning portion of this class, like the first third or half of this class course, um, is kind of detail-y and uh, that's because we're getting ourselves set up with several tools that require sign-ups and it requires me to approve you in some cases and this week is another one of those weeks. Um, let me just run through really quickly the activities you'll be doing and kind of highlight the ones that will um, be sort of grade book items. So uh, after gaining an understanding of RSS, you I, I really want you to explore Feedly. Um, I've given you a couple of videos and a link to the Feedly knowledge base page really take some time and explore how the tool works and how to set it up so it's um, so it looks the way you want it to and works the way you want it to. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to subscribe once you get Feedly set up you're going to subscribe to your classmates blogs so you're going to I have a tutorial on two ways to add um, blogs to your Feedly account. And then I have uh, sev six uh, blogs and feeds. They're kind of educational technology related except for the more general um, New York Times education feed. You're going to subscribe to those. These are not the end all be all but they're ones that I think are interesting and thought provoking. That's one category and the other such as free technology for teachers and daily digital discoveries and tip line those are blogs that kind of point you to tools that are interesting that might be used in the classroom. Activity two you're going to join a Digo group and add a resource and activity three we're going to take a break from blogging you can continue doing that though and instead we're going to sign up for a Wikispaces account and you're, you're going to be, your actual week four activity is going to be posted on the wiki. So some of you were in some of your blog posts were noting or noticing that you might, you could use a blog as kind of a learning management system, sort of like a Moodle and I was excited for this module because I think you'll find wiki spaces and wikis in general to be I think more along the lines of a Moodle type learning management system tool. So you'll actually go to our wiki spaces site and once you get yourself all set up with it and again I'm gonna have to approve you so you want to do this early in the week then you'll be able to click on the week for activity and it will take you to the page where you have um, your assignment and some of you might be groaning and saying oh no she's 
making us watch one of those TED videos again. But um, I think it's really interesting. Might irritate some of you, which is awesome as well. Um, but just follow the instructions on this page. Again, I want to reiterate that if you, I, I totally get waiting until the weekend to do your work, but because I have to accept you as a member of this wiki, you do not want to do this at, you know, Monday at 2 a.m. because I'll be asleep. And and I won't be able to approve you and have you complete this assignment. So so try to get at least the sign up portion of the uh, wiki assignment done early in the week so you can wait until the weekend and do your assignment of uh, the week four activity. Okay everyone, thank you. Have a great week. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, anything, just shoot them, shoot them to me in the form of an email or give me a call. Okay, great. Bye.